program, visit our sponsors. Now I want to tell you about another story from WND. The SWAT team tasers and pepper sprays some homeschoolers. Now you think this is a free country and a beacon of freedom around the world? Listen to this. A Missouri homeschooling family is suing a sheriff and another officer who forcibly entered their home without a warrant. They tasered the father, pepper sprayed the mother, and put their children in custody of social service workers. A court already had ruled that the actions of Sheriff Darren White and Captain David Glidden of Nottoway County, Missouri, violated the U.S. Constitution, resulting in the dismissal of charges of child endangerment and resisting arrest against the couple, Jason and Laura Hagen of New Hampton. The lawsuit, which seeks compensatory damages, punitive damages, and attorney costs and fees, was brought on behalf of the couple by the Homeschool Defense Association, the world's leading advocate for homeschooling families, Attorney James Mason, senior counsel for the HSLDA, told WND the Fourth Amendment protects against unreasonable search and seizure were added to the Constitution for a reason. We need to be vigilant, he said. We need to be willing to stand up for our rights. He said authorities sometimes need to be reminded that rules apply to them, too. The complaint, filed November 14th, alleges the officers came to the Hagen residence because a social worker was investigating a report of a messy home. The caseworker wanted to inspect a second time. The Hagens refused, so she called Glidden and White. Glidden first demanded to be allowed into the home and was denied permission. So, according to the complaint, he pepper-sprayed Jason and then Laura. Glidden then turned to Jason, who was still standing, and shot him in the back with his taser, the complaint said. When Laura closed the front door, Glidden continued triggering the taser through the closed door. Then White joined in. Together, they forced open the door and found Laura and Jason lying on the floor. It goes on to say that they slapped Laura, knocking her glasses off of her face, then threatened to shoot the family dog. They threw a telephone across the room, called Laura a liar, handcuffed the parents, and threatened to let Jason fall down, according to the complaint. It all took place in front of the three children, ages about 8, 10, and 13, who were taken into state custody where they remained for months. When the allegations made by social workers and the officers against the couple reached court, a judge tossed the case. He said the court will not allow an exception to sanction warrantless entry into a private residence by pepper spray and taser. If the officer had a warrant in his hand, such force was necessary, that's a different story. But those are not the facts in this case, the judge said. The report said all too often law enforcement officers and child welfare workers act as if the Fourth Amendment does not apply to CPS investigators. They're wrong. The Fourth Amendment is a legal shield that protects people from exactly this kind of mistreatment that the Hagans have endured. You need to stand up for our rights. And here's another story of standing up for what's right. This out of Charisma News, where a Marine dad takes a stand after his daughter gets an F for refusing Islamic indoctrination. The Thomas More Law Center today announced its representation of John Kevin Wood and his wife, Melissa, in their battle with La Plata High School in Maryland over the Islamic indoctrination of their 11th grade daughter in her world history class. Their daughter was required to complete assignments which she said had to affirm that there is no God but Allah and the other five pillars of Islam. The case gained national attention when the school banned John Wood from entering school property after he objected to the religion of Islam being taught in his daughter's history class and demanded that she be given an alternative assignment. The school refused. Wood, a former Marine who served in Operation Desert Shield Desert Storm and lost friends in that action, saw firsthand the destruction caused in the name of Allah and that Islam is not a religion of peace and he would not budge from his position. 
Well, the Thomas More Law Center is a national public interest law firm based in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Senior Trial Counsel Aaron Brasino and Maryland Attorney Michael F. Smith of the Smith Appellate Law Firm represent the Wood family. Yesterday, they filed a request for records relating in the case under Maryland's Public Information Act. Well, on October 22nd, John Wood discovered that his daughter was being forced to repeat religious tenets of Islam as a part of her world history class assignment. She was required to write how the Prophet Muhammad was visited by the angel Gabriel and preached that there's only one true God who is Allah. The assignment made her write that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and that the Quran is a holy text. The assignment required her to affirm that Allah is the same God that's worshipped in Christianity and Judaism and that the Quran is the word of Allah revealed to Muhammad in the same way the Jews and Christians believe the Torah and the Gospels were revealed to Moses and the New Testament writers. The assignment also forced young women, such as Wood's daughter, to fill in the following sentences. Men are the managers of affairs of women, and righteous women are therefore obedient. When John Wood discovered this Islamic propaganda and indoctrination, he was rightfully outraged, and that evening unsuccessfully tried to contact the school by phone to voice his objections. Wood witnessed firsthand the destruction caused in the name of Allah, and he knows Islam is not this religion of peace. He served in Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm, lost friends in that action on 9-11. Wood responded as a firefighter to the smoldering Pentagon. He refused to allow La Plata High School to subject his daughter to Islamic indoctrination despite the threatened academic consequences. The next day, October 23rd, Wood had a phone conversation with La Plata Vice Principal where he began reiterating his objections to his daughters being indoctrinated into the religion of Islam. The Vice Principal indicated that his daughter, a high school junior with college hopes, would receive zeros on her assignment on Islam if she did not complete them. He asked how the religion of Islam could be taught when schools are prohibited from teaching the religion of Christianity. Well, the following day, October 24th, John Wood again spoke with Vice Principal. She again refused to allow an alternative assignment. Commenting on the case, Richard Thompson, President and Chief Counsel, stated, Adding insult to injury in an arrogant and unnecessary display of power, La Plata's principal issued a written no trespass notice which denied this former Marine who stood in harm's way defending our country, which included the principal and her staff, any access to the grounds. The school's actions not only dishonored John Wood's service, but the service of all men and women in our armed forces who defend our nation from Islamic violence. True to his Marine training, John Wood stood his ground. He did not retreat. Yes, his daughter has received a failing grade in her world history class. But this story is not yet over. There is more to come. And you can see all of these full stories at the website wdeanshook.com. You can email me at contact at wdeanshook.com. Facebook, wdeanshook. Join me on Twitter at wdeanshook. Because as usual, when the dust settles and the smoke clears, I'll be back with more truth on our next episode. Thank you for being here. You can get these full stories and more at wdeanshook.com. That's wdeanshook.com.